In the heart of the United States, nestled between the towering skyscrapers of a sprawling metropolis, lay a night city that harbored a dark and ominous secret. Beneath the shimmering lights and bustling streets, an eerie sense of unease hung in the air as the night settled in. The city had once been a thriving hub of prosperity, its streets alive with the hustle and bustle of business and the laughter of families. But over time an unseen force seemed to have taken hold, casting a shadow over the once vibrant landscape. Rumors circulated among the locals about a sinister presence that lurked in the shadows, preying upon the unsuspecting souls who dared to venture out after dark. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows that seemed to dance menacingly across the pavement. The city transformed. Neon signs flickered to life, casting an eerie glow that painted the buildings in shades of otherworldly colors. The streets that were once teeming with people now stood eerily empty save for the brave few who had no choice but to navigate the darkened avenues. Among the brave souls was a young journalist named Amelia. Intrigued by the unsettling tales that surrounded the city, she arrived with a determination to uncover the truth. Armed with a camera and a notebook, she delved into the heart of the mystery determined to document the horrors that had plagued the city. Amelia's investigation led her down labyrinthine alleys and forgotten corners of the city. Strange graffiti adorned the walls, depicting grotesque creatures that seemed to come to life in the flickering light. Unsettling whispers carried on the wind, as if the very buildings themselves held secrets they were unwilling to reveal. One fateful night, as Amelia explored a long, abandoned subway station, she stumbled upon a hidden chamber beneath the tracks. The air grew thick with an oppressive aura as she entered, and she felt a chill crawl down her spine. The walls were adorned with cryptic symbols, and a sense of foreboding settled upon her as she realized she had stumbled upon the heart of the malevolent force that had gripped the city. As Emilia captured images of the chamber, her camera's flash illuminated the room, revealing grotesque relics and chilling artifacts. Just as she was about to leave, a guttural growl echoed from the darkness, and a pair of glowing eyes fixated on her from the shadows. Panicking, Emilia stumbled backward. Her heart racing as she realized that the stories were true something unspeakably evil had awoken. A sinister laughter reverberated through the chamber as the creature revealed itself a monstrous entity that seemed to be a manifestation of the city's darkest fears. With every step it took, the ground trembled and the air grew colder. The very fabric of reality seemed to warp around it, and Amelia's breath caught in her throat as she faced the embodiment of terror itself. Desperation fueled her flight as she fled from the chamber, the creature's malevolent laughter echoing in her ears. Racing through the winding streets, Amelia could feel the city itself pulsating with a malevolent energy as if it were alive and complicit in the horrors that had unfolded. Amidst the towers and fear, Amelia discovered that the only hope of banishing the darkness lay within the city's forgotten history. As she unraveled the tales of ancient rituals and unspeakable sacrifices, she realized that she held the key to confronting the malevolent force that had taken root. With the knowledge she had gathered, Amelia returned to the chamber armed with symbols and incantations. Meant to imprison the creature once more. With the odds stacked against her and the very fabric of reality threatening to unravel, she faced the entity in a battle of wills and determination. The city itself seemed to hold its breath as the final confrontation unfolded. The air crackled with an otherworldly energy as Amelia chanted the ancient incantation, her voice shaking but resolute. The creature roared, its form contorting as it fought against the binding magic. In a blinding burst of light, the chamber trembled, and the malevolent force was sucked into a vortex of energy disappearing as abruptly as it had arrived. The chamber fell silent, and the city seemed to sigh in relief as the oppressive aura lifted, leaving behind only the distant hum of the metropolis. As dawn broke over the horizon, the first rays of sunlight bathed the city in a warm golden glow. The once ominous streets began to bustle with life once more, as if the nightmare of the night had never transpired. Amelia emerged from the depths of the subway station, her camera and notebook filled with the harrowing account of her ordeal. 
The story of the Night City and its malevolent secret would become a cautionary tale, a whispered legend that would be shared in hushed tones by those who remembered. And though the city had been cleansed of its darkness, the memory of that terrifying night would forever linger a reminder that even in the heart of prosperity unspeakable horrors could take root and thrive. In the heart of the sprawling metropolis known as Midnight Hollow, nestled on the fringes of the American East Coast, there lay a night city unlike any other. Its labyrinthine streets were lined with towering skyscrapers, their glass facades reflecting the eerie glow of neon signs that flickered and buzzed like malevolent fireflies. The city was perpetually cloaked in an inky darkness. As if the sun itself had abandoned this forsaken place. Midnight Hollow was a place where shadows held secrets and nightmares seemed to walk the streets. On this particular night, a heavy fog had settled over the city further obscuring its already foreboding skillin. The streets were slick with rain, the rhythmic tapping of drops against pavement echoing like the footsteps of some invisible stalker. Most of the inhabitants had long since retreated behind locked doors, seeking solace from the unsettling ambience outside. But there were those who dared to venture into the night. Among them was Detective Amelia Reed, a tenacious investigator with a reputation for solving the most perplexing and macabre cases. Tonight, she found herself assigned to a series of grisly murders that had the entire city on edge. Each victim had been found with their eyes gouged out, a disturbing signature that sent shivers down the spines of even the most hardened officers. Amelia's investigation led her through dimly lit alleyways and desolate, rain-soaked streets. The fog seemed to part reluctantly before her as she pushed forward, her flashlight casting feeble beams of light that barely pierced the inky darkness. As she delved deeper into the heart of the city's secrets, the feeling of being watched intensified as if unseen eyes were fixated on her every move. With each gruesome crime scene she encountered, the sense of dread grew. The bodies seemed almost ritualistically posed, surrounded by arcane symbols scrawled in blood. The more she uncovered, the more it seemed as though Midnight Hollow was a city built upon a foundation of unspeakable horrors. As the night wore on, Amelia's exhaustion and unease deepened. She began to question her own sanity as fleeting glimpses of grotesque figures darted at the edge of her vision. Whispers echoed through the alleyways, carrying words that were both unintelligible and malevolent. The boundary between reality and nightmare began to blur, and Amelia found herself questioning whether the city itself was alive, a sentient entity that reveled in the fear it instilled. In her pursuit of the truth, Amelia crossed paths with a mysterious figure known only as the Keeper. Cloaked in tattered robes, the Keeper was rumored to possess knowledge of the city's darkest secrets. He spoke in riddles and offered cryptic guidance, leading Amelia deeper into the heart of the horror that gripped Midnight Hollow. As the night reached its zenith, the boundary between the living and the dead shattered. Spectral apparitions roamed the streets, their mournful wails carried by the wind. The very architecture of the city seemed to twist and contour, creating a nightmarish landscape that defied the laws of reality. Amelia's grasp on her sanity slipped further as she struggled to distinguish between the real and the surreal. In a climactic confrontation with the Keeper, Amelia learned the truth that midnight. Hollow had been built atop an ancient burial ground, a place where malevolent forces had festered for centuries. The city's inhabitants had unwittingly unleashed these dark energies, feeding their power with their fears and desperation. The gruesome murders were sacrifices offerings to the malevolent entities that now sought to consume the city. With newfound determination, Amelia embarked on a perilous journey to break the curse that bound Midnight Hollow. Guided by the cryptic clues of the Keeper, she delved into forbidden rituals and faced her own inner demons. The line between hunter and hunted blurred as she confronted the malevolent entities themselves, battling to save not only the city, but her own soul. The final confrontation culminated in a cataclysmic struggle, as reality itself seemed to warp and unravel. The city trembled as ancient forces clashed, tearing at the very fabric of existence. 
In a blinding surge of light, Amelia's determination and sacrifice severed the city's ties to the malevolent energies, sealing away the horrors that had plagued Midnight Hollow. As dawn broke over the horizon, the fog lifted, revealing a city forever changed. The neon signs that once cast an eerie glow, now shone with a subdued brilliance, and the streets seemed to breathe a sigh of relief. The scars of the night's terrors remained, etched into the buildings and the memories of those who had survived. But the memory of that fateful night would never truly fade. Midnight Hollow would forever be a city of shadows, a place where the line between reality and nightmare was thin, and where the echoes of that long and terrifying night would linger for generations to come. In the heart of the United States, nestled between towering skyscrapers and bustling streets, lay the night city of desolation. Once a thriving metropolis, it had now become a haunting labyrinth of abandoned buildings and forgotten dreams. The city had fallen victim to a series of mysterious events that had driven its residents away, leaving only whispers of its tragic past. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows that swallowed the Streets, a sense of eerie stillness settled over desolation. The wind whispered through broken windows, carrying with it the melancholic echoes of laughter and conversations long gone. Streetlights flickered, casting dim pools of light that seemed to be repelled by the encroaching darkness. Few dared to venture into desolation after dark, but curiosity and desperation often pushed even the most rational minds to the brink. It was on one such night that a group of young urban explorers decided to unlock the city's secrets. Ethan, Maya, Alex, and Lily had heard tales of the city's downfall stories of inexplicable disappearances, sightings of shadowy figures, and the feeling that the city itself was alive watching their every move. Armed with flashlights, cameras, and a mixture of excitement and trepidation, the group entered desolation. The atmosphere was suffocating, as if the very air was heavy with sorrow and despair. They navigated through streets adorned with cracked pavement and rusted lampposts, their footsteps echoing like heartbeats in the desolate night. As they delved deeper into the city, they began to notice strange occurrences. Whispers carried by the wind seemed to form words that echoed in their minds. Shadows danced at the periphery of their vision, disappearing whenever they turned to look. Buildings seemed to shift, changing their layouts, leading the group into a maze of confusion. With each passing moment, fear gnawed at their resolve. Their flashlights flickered, and eerie silhouettes seemed to emerge from the corners of their vision. Alex's laughter turned to nervous stammers, and Lily clutched Maya's arm as if seeking reassurance. Ethan tried to stay strong, pushing forward with the hope of uncovering the truth behind Desolation's downfall. As the night deepened, the group stumbled upon a decrepit mansion that stood at the heart of the city. Its windows were shattered, and Evie crawled up its crumbling walls. The mansion's aura was suffused with a darkness that seemed tangible, an overwhelming presence that threatened to engulf them. Despite their growing unease, they couldn't resist the pull of the mansion's mysteries. Inside, the air was icy and oppressive. Whispered voices seemed to reverberate through the halls, telling tales of a past that refused to be forgotten. In a grand hall adorned with decaying chandeliers, the group discovered a collection of old photographs. The images depicted the city in its glory days, vibrant streets, jubilant celebrations, and people with hopeful smiles. Yet, as they flipped through the photographs, the scenes began to distort. The smiles turned to expressions of horror, the celebrations into scenes of chows. The city's decline was captured in haunting detail, and the group realized they were witnessing a chronicle of desolation's descent into darkness. A sudden, bone-chilling gust of wind blew out their flashlights, plunging them into pitch-black darkness. Panic ensued as their heartbeats synchronized with the pounding footsteps that echoed through. Desperation gave way to terror, and in their attempts to escape, they became separated. Each member of the group found themselves trapped in a different part of the mansion, isolated in their individual nightmares. They screamed for each other, their voices swallowed by the malevolent aura that permeated the mansion's walls. 
Ethan alone in a dimly lit corridor came face to face with a monstrous silhouette. Its eyes glowed with an otherworldly light, and its form seemed to shift and contort as if it were a living shadow. Frozen with fear, Ethan could only watch as the entity approached, its presence draining the warmth from his body. Meanwhile, Maya found herself in a room that mirrored her childhood bedroom. Familiar toys and mementos surrounded her, but they twisted and distorted becoming grotesque versions of themselves. The air grew heavy with an Desolation would forever bear the scars of its past, but it was no longer defined by them. The city began to thrive once more, its streets bustling with life and its buildings echoing with the laughter of its residents. And as the sun set over the transformed city, the shadows held no more secrets, only stories of survival and the unbreakable bond forged in a night of unimaginable horror.